Well, thank you so much for doing this. For sure. Me. If she gets distracting, we can That's okay. <laughs> go elsewhere. I'm, I'm truly uh, very unbothered by the presence of this sweet dog. Um, great. So yeah, as I mentioned, I'm in film school, but I have never been on a big set um, unless it was my own tiny little like no budget thing. So feel free to be as descriptive and, you know, because I there's a lot of things that I don't know about the film industry. Okay. So some questions that I'm going to ask, you know, go ahead and just tell, explain it like you would to me, a baby. Okay. Um, so did you go to film school? I did not. Gotcha. I, uh, my undergrad was at Florida State mm -hmm. and was a theater major, but I was also a communication major mm -hmm. and they had a production, um, my, uh, like production focus. So it was media production. Uh, so it was very television focused. Um, I did things like directing for the camera, writing for TV, um, writing for different types of media, producing multi-cam, um, sitcom sort of style, single cam for some of the classes, but then in theater it was mostly um, some performance classes, but mostly theater history and I was a stage manager. Gotcha. So what was your, did, was casting always kind of no. where you figured you would go or what was no. your... Um, I, uh, I really loved editing, mm. um, and, uh, like I said, I was a stage manager, and so there were a lot of, um, uh, administrative things that I was really good at, and, uh, it wasn't until my senior year when I had, um, upperclassmen or people who had graduated who had all gone to, um, who had gone to New York and started in casting, and that, um, uh, that sort of like sparked that. I had always had a great memory for faces and names, and uh, as a stage manager, we got to sit in the casting meetings every um, semester whenever we were doing our big auditions and casting the productions, and that was always the most interesting thing to be. Yeah, I'm super interested in casting. I think it sounds not, I don't want to say fun because I don't know much about what your yeah. job is, but it does feel like you're just on the very first level of getting yeah. the production part rolling because yeah. there are real human beings who are going to be in front of yeah. camera. So that's just really exciting. Um, so will you tell me more about the different kind of uh, subsets of casting, the yeah. casting business in general? Because sure. I saw on your IMDb like location casting and then casting assistant and associate and all of these kinds of things yeah. that I'm just not super familiar with. Um, sure. Uh, we'll start with like the levels of casting. Mm -hmm. You typically would start off as an assistant. Mm -hmm. You're going to be an assistant for a couple of years. You're going to be calling out appointments, um, maybe running camera in a session, um, checking in actors, um, uh, and checking availabilities and things like that. That is like your foundation. Mm -hmm. You see how it works. You're interacting with an associate and your casting director. Um, and that really is, uh, your apprenticeship. Um, uh, after several years, uh, there should be some upward mobility, um, and, uh, you would be made an associate. An associate will be mostly running auditions, um, pre-reads just with casting, you know, before you would move into a call, uh, into an audition with a director. Um, you'll be more involved in the creative, um, aspect of it, coming up with idea lists, um, uh, and then also interacting with agents and managers a little bit more. And then as a casting director, um, that's sort of your final thing. Yeah. <laughs> You're then bringing in jobs and people are calling upon you um, to cast whatever production. Gotcha. And that actually leads me to a different question. Yeah. Um, I was curious if you had a favorite genre to cast like for film and television. Like, do you have... Yeah. Um, so we mostly work in film and TV. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and both have sort of nice things about them. Um, I like, uh, with TV, uh, you can really just get into a rhythm and you kind of know what you're, what you're going to be doing for the next, you know, if you're working on something for 22 episodes, you mm -hmm. kind of know what your, the next six months of your life is going to look like. And you really do get into a nice routine mm -hmm. and rhythm. You're working with people for much longer periods of time. So you really get to know your directors, writers, everyone in the production office mm -hmm. really well. Um, uh, what I love about movies is that it's quick, it's, um, because it's sort of a fast, kind of intense period of time casting, um, 
you get to know your directors and writers um, and your producers in a really interesting way, but then they go away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's sort of like this like nice pace, right? Yeah. And then like these cool projects that kind of come in and you're working on it for six weeks and then they go yeah. away. So, so in terms of like casting and you know people reading, uh, you know they're auditioning. Like, do you enjoy comedy? Auditions more than drama, um, or is it just kind of all, you know? I, I think that, yes, I do enjoy comedy. Um, that was always something I was really interested in. Um, uh, but, um, you know, it's always really nice to sort of feel like someone unlocking something sure. in a dramatic audition. Yeah. Um, uh, but, you know, those can be uh, those topics of different films uh, or series, if it's that. Uh, can you know can be emotionally draining even yeah. for the casting director so it can be tough but watch it over and over yeah again, for yeah. sure yeah and also um in those situations especially like really um dramatic um scenes that we're doing for an audition um uh, it's you know it's hard to watch someone mm -hmm. just uh find that space and then just break down tears yeah. in front of you. Especially and if you know. I usually get a little emotional yeah. as well so um yeah um I have one last fun little thing that I hope that you also find fun. Yeah. So I have a theoretical thing that I'd like you to cast. <laughs> mm. um, like if we were on Variety Magazine and you were being interviewed and I was yeah. like, what, you know. Uh, so they, their, the studio is remaking Back to the Future mm. <laughs> and they are looking for Marty McFly at Doc and they are open to any gender and any race. Mm -hmm. And in terms of what stars are kind of among right now, who do you think would be a fun yeah. to see in those roles? That's, <laughs> that's, uh, that is such a well cast movie. Mm -hmm. Um, but that's really hard. And it's two to people. To see yeah. other people. Yeah. So who are our, um, really fantastic older, like, seasoned comedians? I know, I'm just gonna start naming names. Mm. Uh, Jim Carrey probably would be on the list. Jack Black would probably be on the list. Um, uh, Margaret Cho might be on the list. Um, that would be amazing. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so who else would be on the list? Um, Imagine Kathy Griffin as Doc would be oh, yeah. insane. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Kathy Griffin also, but yeah, you put her on the list. <laughs> She's great. Um, <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> Love her. Yeah. Love her so much. Yeah. Um, who else? I mean, Jack Black would be an excellent uh, choice. Too. You know, maybe you put Larry David on the list. Yes. <laughs> I don't think that, that would be that's a totally like, different movie. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> he would like, be Larry David. <laughs> yeah, he would be all. Yeah, he'd be like a flex capacitor. Yeah. What is that? Yeah, or whatever it is. <laughs> um, uh, funny. Uh, for the younger person, I mean, that would be a really great like space for discovery. Mm -hmm. Um, for someone new, God, Michael J. Fox was so amazing. Yeah. And then you know that Eric Stoltz was originally cast in it. Yes. And, and so filmed a lot of it, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Um, who it would are be our interesting likes? gender if it was two women instead of two men. Yeah, that's true. Um, hmm. And so many musicians now, like pop stars, are, oh, yeah, are actors sure. too. Yeah. I'm like I was like, what if Billie Eilish is Marty? Oh my God! That'd be, <laughs> yeah, that would be really funny. Or if she was like, or if she was Doc. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um. Hmm. Young folks. Young guys. <laughs> young guys. I know. It's like obviously there's all of the Stranger Things cast. There's. <laughs> like, yeah. You know, but it seems too on the nose. Of no, like uh, maybe. I don't know, like someone from the TV world right now. Mm. Maybe that kid who's on Young Sheldon. Mm -hmm. I probably want to audition him. Yeah. Uh, he might be a little too cute. Um, also, he's a little young right now. Um, God, that's really hard. <laughs> I mean, that's the cool thing about like young people, especially like young performers, is that that's the that's the talent pool that. Mm -hmm changes the most mm -hmm. obviously because actors are growing up and aging right. out of that 
and so you really are I do enjoy working in that like in that age group because of that um, uh, and it's always exciting when you see a, a young performer have sort of a natural ability well that's all I have for you Lovely. Thank you so much yeah, for, for all sure. this. It's so enlightening and lovely. Um, I will take all of this and put it in my pocket. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. if you ever have any 